morning children i hope all are well stay at home and stay safe and here and now which lesson we are we are in food and health what i explained you about in this lesson about the food nutrients i explained you what are the nutrients we discussed so far carbohydrate protein fat vitamins and minerals and water and refuges already we have discussed and i explained you about the testing of the proteins and uh, proteins carbohydrates as well as uh, oil or ghee i will explain you okay testings also i showed you so what is the test for the presence of the starch how to know the starch is present in the given food sample by using a chemical that is what you call it iodine solution what color you get it you get the blue or black color will be the test for uh, will get this will be the test for the sugar isn't it so in the same way proteins also we did what are the chemicals used in protein test that is copper sulfate and sodium hydroxide take the food sample of uh, you can take the uh, paste of uh, peanuts you can take even the milk also you can do this uh, test protein test by using the chemicals that is called copper sulfate and sodium hydroxide add few drops of copper sulfate and sodium hydroxide you will see the color change that is violet or purple color you will get it isn't it this proves that the proteins are present in the given food sample in the same way oil or ghee also we did experiment i showed you how to do take a paper white paper uh, add few drops of oil and spread it you will get the paper becomes translucent isn't it partially you can see the things this this is a test for the facts food pyramid also explain you you need all the food nutrients are important in your diet isn't it you have to take more servings of breads and bread and cereals five or more than servings are needed carbohydrates in the same way you need fruits and vegetables also more than five servings isn't it meat or milk products you need two to three servings and oils or fats you need you have to use occasionally very less so if any of these components are less in your diet what happens deficiency diseases takes place isn't it so what is a balanced diet or the component the food the diet which contains all the components in right proportion is called a balanced diet if any of this component is missing in your diet you will suffer with the deficiency diseases isn't it so do you think it is good to consume too much of fat is it good to take too much of fat a fat is not the best food to eat all the times isn't it fat is not a best food to take all the time isn't it so it gives more energy than carbohydrates it gives more energy than carbohydrates eating too much of fats what happens eating too much of fats gives you quick energy no doubt but what happens it if you eat too much of fat if you add too much of fat in your diet what happens you will get a disease what do what do you call it obesity what do you call it obesity who is common obesity means the fat accumulates in your body the fat accumulation of fat will be there all over the body you will become fatty it cause it will be the cause of many diseases if you will become fatty if you are obese if you are obese so too much of fat also is not at all good to your health isn't it too much of fat also not at all good to your health so when our body does not get the enough nutrition for a long time we may suffer from the diseases one day two days it is okay you are not taking you are not including rice or chapati 
One day, two days, it's okay. But always, you are not including in your diet. You are not taking dals, or you are not taking the uh, what do you say, uh, uh, vegetables, uh, curries, or fruits. Always, you are taking the pickles along with the rice. Is it good? No. So, for a long time, if you are not including any of the nutrients in your diet, it leads to deficiency. What do you call it? Now, here we will study about the deficiency diseases. Deficiency diseases. We will know about the deficiency diseases. What is a deficiency disease? When our body does not get the enough nutrition, enough nutrients for a long period of time, it leads to deficiency. Isn't it? So, suppose you are not taking proteins in your diet. What happens? I will, we will discuss in this class. If you are not including the vegetables in your diet, what happens? You are taking only rice or chapati. What happens? Isn't it? We will discuss here. So, due to lack of any of the nutrients in your diet leads to deficiency diseases. Now we are will discuss. So lack of one or more nutrients in our diet. Lack of one or more nutrients in our diet results into deficiency diseases. Results into deficiency diseases. Lack of any of the nutrients. One or more nutrients in your diet. Re, re, what happens? You will get, you will suffer with the deficiency diseases. Here we will see the each and every disease. About the, now, lack of proteins. Lack of proteins. Lack of nutrients. Yeah. Lack of nutrients. Deficiency disease. Deficiency disease and sources. What are the sources? You. What are the sources from which you get? You can avoid the disease. Sources means like fruits, vegetables, uh, uh, mutton, chicken. All these are the sources of food. Isn't it? So now you have to see. First, lack of protein. Suppose you are not adding proteins in your diet. You are not getting proteins in your diet. You are not getting proteins in your diet. What deficiency disease takes place? Growing children need more proteins. At your age need more proteins more. At this age need proteins more. Here what happens? Stunted growth. Stunted growth. Is it it? Stunted growth. Swelling on the face also. Swelling on face. Okay. Swelling on face. Discolorization. Discolorization of the hairs. All these are the symptoms. And skin problems. Skin patches will be there here and there. Stunted growth. Growth is not proper. Growth will be stopped. Isn't it? If you are not getting the proteins. I explained you already. I explained you about the proteins. I already I explained you about the proteins. Isn't it? What are the sources of proteins also? Already I explained you. What are proteins? Are bodybuilding food. What are proteins? Proteins are bodybuilding food. They help us in growth, maintains and repairs the muscles in our body. Now suppose if you are not getting the proteins, what happens? Stunted growth, swelling on the face, isn't it? Discoloration of the uh, hairs, isn't it? And skin problems. You face these many problems if you are not going to include proteins in your diet. What are the sources? I told you, I explained you also. What from which food items you get the proteins? From which food items you get the more proteins? Milk. Milk is a wholesome food. Eggs. Okay. Pulses. Etc. Is it it? You add. So take a milk. Daily you have to take a glass of milk morning and 
night before going to bed take me daily take the ex pulses all the beans dals all types of dals all types of beans so yeah beans or you can add rajma green peas this is a season of green peas isn't it these are the sources of proteins chicken add more chicken in your diet so these are the sources of protein so growing children need more proteins take these food items in your diet add uh, these food items in your diet okay so these are the uh, this is what you call deficiency in these things takes persistent growth swelling on the face and a discoloration of hair and skin problems also common next coming to carbohydrates plays very important role in our diet suppose carbohydrates means what is your main course in your diet rice or chapati isn't it rice or chapati very important to take rice and chapati isn't it so what are the deficiency diseases common in this if you are not including the carbohydrates in your diet for example if you don't take the rice or chapati for 2 3 days what happens you feel weak your body becomes weak you can't even walk you can't even run you can't do any activities in your daily life isn't it yeah, so growth stops altogether and such a person becomes lean weak isn't it you will become weak lean you can't do the work you can't do any you can't go and bring anything you can't walk run isn't it these problems you will face so you get the carbohydrates from rice rice chapati you add chapati bread potato sugar all these are the sources of carbohydrates these are the sources of carbohydrates ghee all these are the sources of carbohydrates okay children next coming to fats too much of fat also is not at all good too much of fat also not at all good to your health but you have to add fat in your diet that is you have to take ghee or you can without uh, oils you cannot cook the food also curry is also can't make it so uh, what happens if you don't add fat in your diet skin becomes dry hair loss hair loss skin becomes dry so everyone knows carbohydrates you get from oil ghee butter etc etc okay next coming to vitamins vitamins now protect your food vitamins are vitamins and minerals are called protective food now vitamins in under the vitamins vitamin a vitamin a if you are not including vitamin a what happens you cannot see properly your sight will become dull weak isn't it so at night you cannot see the things night blindness night blindness what are the sources of vitamin a we get vitamin a carrot beetroot radish okay the kidney beans uh, sweet potato liver cod oil liver oil so these are the sources of vitamin a now coming to vitamin b vitamin d what vitamin d b so what happens it is a dangerous disease which affects the nervous system which affects the nervous system a disease called beriberi a disease called beriberi what are the food from which food items you get chicken 
or kidney beans etc. You get vitamin D. Vitamin C. Oh, vitamin C bleeding gums and swelling of joints. Swelling of joints and uh, what happens here? Bleeding gums. The blood will come. Isn't it? And this is what you call it vitamin C. This is, is called scurvy. Due to lack of vitamin C, uh, this is called scurvy. Takes place. Citrus fruits. You have to take more citrus fruits for vitamin C. They add citrus fruits. Citrus fruits. Add citrus fruits in your diet. Lemons are there. Oranges are there. Take more. Isn't it? Tomatoes, lemon, oranges, go. Add more in this. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. What is that? Due to lack of vitamin D, already I explained you. That is rickets. Rickett is a disease takes place. Rickett is a disease takes place. And uh, here, what happens? Which part of the body affected with a deficiency of vitamin D in our body? That is bones and teeth are affected. Isn't it? Cheaply available vitamin D is through from sunlight. Isn't it? Sunlight is there. Mushroom is there. Cod liver oil. Take more. Iron. Now we are coming to minerals. Iron. What happens? The person becomes weak due to lack of iron here. Blood will be less in your body. You will become anemic. The person becomes anemic. Isn't it? That is this disease is what you call it? Anemia. What do you call it? Anemia. Iron. It is called anemia. What are the food items you get? Well, chickpea, spinach, take more iron containing fruits and vegetables, beans, leafy vegetables, add more, apples, add, add more in your diet to get iron. Okay? Next coming to calcium and phosphorus. Calcium and phosphorus, improper development of bones and teeth. Improper development of bones and teeth. Simply if you fall down, fracture will take place. Simply if you fall down on the floor, fracture. The bone will be fractured. Isn't it? So due to weak bones. Okay. So this is uh, from uh, what you have to take. Seeds, legumes, fish, etc. Isn't it? Next coming to iodine. Iodine. Due to lack of this iodine in your diet, a disease takes place. What happens? Goiter. That is what you call it. Goiter. Here the, in the neck region, it swells up. Gland will swells up. In the neck region, you will find the swelling. Like bulged structure, you will see. The gland will become bulged. Ball-like structure, you will see. Due to deficiency of this iodine in your diet. So you have to, one should add iodized salt. Take iodized salt in market. You will see the, when you are buying the uh, uh, salt packet, you have to see the iodized salt. Take iodized salt. Isn't it? So you, you get iron from, uh, sorry, iodine from strawberry and, and iodized salt. Thank you children. Have a nice day.